Sitting atop the curb along Sonnet Avenue, a lone stuffed animal marks the spot Carson Smith lost his life. It's just a memory, you know, just in memory of him. We're trying to put pressure on him, trying to get him to focus on us and because he wasn't breathing. Yvette Gomez and Thomas Rhodes lived behind the crime scene and tried to stop the bleeding from Smith's chest well before paramedics arrived. I run up back upstairs to get a whole bunch of rags <clears throat> and I come back downstairs and he's already bleeding out everywhere. There's a big puddle of you know, blood on the side of the curb. At nearby Murkison Middle School, Austin police officers, including those in the homicide unit, spent time on campus. Multiple sources tell KXAN the two suspects were eighth graders here. Some kids are freaked out. Some are just like, it's just another day at Murkison because we've had so much crazy stuff happen. That is sad for the child who was killed. It's sad for these kids because their life is over. Meantime, for the first time since Friday night stabbing, students at Anderson High returned to school thinking about the classmate they lost, as well as the suspects. I want this to be an eye opener for them and have them realize that life isn't about violence and that we need to all be nicer to each other and just show each other love. Those who came to Smith's aid say they ultimately realized the situation was out of their hands. We're asking God to give them strength to, you know, to be here with us and help us.